What's up guys? This is Patrick Jensen here and we are back on Twitch. This is 2016, March 7, and um, after a little bit of a, a break there, um, I think I'm finally set up to, to get this going again. So I am super excited and um, yeah, if you missed this one, I hope to see you guys next time. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm all set up to now do this regularly again, so uh, I'm super pumped. Um, so yeah, um, there's a couple new things to share with you guys before we get painting and stuff. Um, I uh, developed a new website, and um, it's right up here. It's metavisuals.live, and um, it's kind of like the hub for you guys to see past streams and to see what happened, um, to check out the videos real easily, and also be notified about future streams and stuff. So um, if you ever have a question about uh, what's going on, I'm going to be updating this website uh, with that information for you guys. Um, so it's still a work in progress. I mean, this is the, the very first, uh, you know, it just went live today. So, um, uh, but it'll be fun because you'll have upcoming broadcasts right here. Um, painting live today at noon uh, Pacific Standard Time. And you can check out the past broadcasts, which happened last year in December or November. Um, I was using last year to just kind of test this setup, make sure it was all good. Um, so that I can keep this like a, a high quality thing for you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, you got your, your links down here. Um, uh, watch live on Twitch. Um, I have a new page for you to donate if uh, you choose to do that. But you can of course watch these for free, um, either live on Twitch or afterwards on YouTube. Um, and so I have the link to YouTube here. Here's Twitch, uh, but uh, you know, your donations and kindness would definitely help uh, make this a more frequent thing, as well as um, I could work on better content as far as uh, developing classes and, and uh, maybe take on mentorships and things like that. So all of that helps uh, if you choose to, to donate. Um, you can connect with me on Facebook or Twitter, and uh, you've got my, my Twitter feed down here. So pretty cool. And um, the fun part is the, the live stream calendar. And I'll just show you, we have today on here, um, and you click that and you got you got your little image and stuff. But um, what's, keep an eye on this, this is gonna fill out as I figure out this schedule, but um, uh, it's gonna be at least once a week and I'll get those future dates in there um, as I schedule them out and stuff. But uh, what's cool is you can always come back here and check it out. So that's pretty fun. Um, yeah, so that's metavisuals.live. Um, and that's everything as far as getting in contact with me, social stuff, uh, you name it. So that's your new hub uh, to follow. Of course, you can follow me on Twitch, and uh, that works too, um, or Twitter, or whatever whatever you like to use. So that's that's super awesome. Ah, let's see. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and get painting because I uh, I'm a little rusty. And um, so let's do some warm-ups, and then we can we can have some fun after that. So um, I'll go ahead and get started. And as you guys join, um, you feel free to uh, chime in with any questions or stuff like that. And I will um, be happy to answer them and stuff. So all right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So I noticed there's a live stream going over on the Bob Ross channel, and why not? Let's have a little warm up and and see what we can do, inspired by what he's doing over there. So um, I'll just do a couple sketches, and um, yeah, see what happens. It'll be fun. So he's got some kind of mountainscape going, and you can pull up his his uh, stream in the corner there. Um, and I'm just going to kind of make a scene inspired loosely by what he's doing. Um, so he's creating this kind of rainy mountainscape, and um, so yeah, let's go ahead and try something like that too. Um, yeah. I 
actually. I'm thinking. <sighs> Feels good to paint. All right. Let's see, let's get this down here. One thing I like doing is create a little duplicate canvas down here that's small, um, zoomed out, and so I can zoom paint. Uh, I could paint zoomed in up here and also see the, the thumbnail down here. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And he's using like a golden golden light, which is fun. I, I might go into something else, but let's just get started with some of this. And then we'll just play from there. This is a real moody moody scape It's a little green, but we can take it down later. Just trying to get some colors in there and see where this goes. I know I said we we're kind of being inspired by the Bob Ross, but we're not taking it, we're not doing a copy. Um, so I'm just kind of um, being inspired by what he's doing and painting something. That's just coming into my head as we as we do this. I'm gonna get some redder tones in there. There we go. He's got some snow on that thing. We might get some snow. We'll see. Let's see. I'm gonna make a, should I do a new layer? Sure. All right, thinking. Color variation back there. Actually, merge that down, change this to color dodge. Yeah, let's just uh, get that horizon a little bit. Just get some neat, neat blues in there. Continue on the other side. There we go. Cool. All right. You know what? 
what if we duplicate this guy and let's do a little liquify on it and um, see if we can't make something a little bit more fun here. This might kill my RAM as I'm streaming, but let's give it a shot. Even just that, I could have tried to paint that kind of silhouette, but sometimes pushing it in that direction is such a fast feedback of like um, um, finding a new shape that it's neat to try once in a while to help it give it something, just a new composition and shapes that you otherwise wouldn't have painted. Uh, you were just well painting because um, your strokes tend to repeat themselves sometimes and so it's good to distort things as sometimes and find some happy accidents cool he's got a forest back there it's a good idea all right let's go ahead and try that all right, we'll make a new layer. And you know what we could do? If you put the mist behind it, we'll get a little mist layer. Um, set this to like a color dodge. And we'll just build it up a little bit. Get a little bit of that gold color, maybe. Get some noise. There we go. And. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna get rid of it a little bit. Since we have that light color, now we can go in with some dark trees and make a little forest. So let's try that. Kind of like what he's doing. I was thinking like there's a meadow in front. So we're just having fun here. Warming up. I'll try some other sketches after this. So. Little snowy trees. All right, so we got a little path going over here. Maybe it's just a uh, Sometimes adjusting the levels, just making sure you're not too chalky with everything. Um, 
that's about what I'm and yeah, just a little more range on the colors and, and values and things that helps us out a little bit just gonna see about these colors too Make sure we're in a good spot. I like to rock it back and forth and then see if that's a good change or a bad change. Cool. If you're watching this later on YouTube, um, try to catch the live one next time because you can ask questions, make suggestions. Um, we can we can paint what what you want to paint, or try new things, or just uh, bounce ideas back and forth and come up with some fun stuff. So um, right now there's no one no one chatting. So it's just me painting. Um, I'm not trying to do anything profound here other than sketch and have fun. So, um, <laughs> But uh, if you want to join next time and I'll chime in, we can do some cool stuff. So it's kind of the format for, for today, at least. Just seeing where it goes. And, Having some fun. All right. right there like there Got a cool whole house. Oh, a little greener.
Nice. All right. We need some. Need to play with things a little bit. So I duplicated everything, and then I'm just going to set it to like a soft light. Uh, put a mask on it. Invert the mask. Get a fuzzy, fuzzy brush, and I'm just going to paint in some of this this contrast and saturation kind of where I want. Get the sky a little punchier. And then uh, make a hard light layer. Maybe grab some of this gold and just kind of bloom that stuff a little bit. Grab that snow. Create a little bloom around the snow areas. And now I'm just kind of messing around here and there with some color, seeing if uh, we can't get some other fun stuff going on. We do have this gold light on the mountain, so getting some of the more of that in the, the clouds is kind of fun. Um, Cool. Yeah, let's see. Got some more mist back there. Too much? Oh, well, we could just put it on these shadow areas of this cloud. There we go. Nice. It's looking good. So those three like adjustments and see how the the flow is just this is a little flat and this is just kind of adding a little bit more contrast and blooming out this midground so it pushes it back and stuff. Um, yeah, making it kind of making things pop a little bit. So, um, looks like Mr. Bob is wrapping up with that one. Nice. So I wasn't looking at it too closely, but just kind of using the, using it as inspiration for, for this piece. did have a nice white snowbank over here. It's kind of fun to get some of that in. I've got this green grass, maybe it's just a fresh snow. Not too wintry yet. Let's go just a little hotter on this peak. It is our focal point. Cool. about wrapping this one up. Last little touches. I don't know what's going on back here. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to dupe everything and make a new layer like that. Check everything one last time. 
Ooh. Let's get some red in that trunk. A little bit more local color of that. There we go. Last thing. Maybe. Just little flowers or something. Just break up, break up the ground a little bit. with snow. <laughs> Kinda like it though. Alright. Too much. Looks good. I think that's good. That's good for a sketch. Nice. All right, let's call that one done. That was fun. Nice little warm up. <laughs> sketch 01. JPEG. All right, we'll save that guy. All right. Well. We should do another one. That was fun. A little half hour sketch. Um, and uh, maybe we'll just post that real quick and then uh, I'll hop on for another sketch. So um, that'd be kind of fun. So hang in there just for a few minutes and then um, we'll uh, get this going. So. And we have Yeah. <laughs> Should I had this done ahead of time? It's okay. go yes cool and all righty um, let's see so hang in there guys watchers I'll just be back in few minutes we'll get this going again do another sketch
Pause. We're going to start another sketch in just a, another minute or two. Um, hang in there. I'm just kind of going to post this last one and then we'll get going on the next one. Cool. All right. There we go. Okay, let's start another one. <sighs> let's see. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. I do one more based on what uh, Bob Ross is doing, just to kind of try a different palette, and uh, then we'll go. Well, then we'll have some fun, just kind of making stuff from scratch. But um, uh, ooh, you know what? There we go. Let's get this down to twelve hundred five nineteen. That sounds good. And this brush is super fun. Um, just allows me to make real big broad shapes very quickly and we're gonna get this little sunset back here smudge smudge these guys together but you can fill a canvas quick and it's it just kind of adds that texture that you need so you're not thinking too much about what you're painting um, and then we'll just bring this guy into focus. So, uh, yeah. So he's got a sunset with some cool trees, um, purple trees. I think we'll just run with the palette that he's using and make something else. So we'll see what we can come up with here. You know, it'd be fun. Well, let's see. So I'm not sure what we'll paint, but I'm sure it'll come to us. <laughs> and actually, we could use a little bit of this guy to help here. Let's see about that.
This is kind of a fun. That's why. I like the red though. Totally didn't mean to do that. But. Too happy with this one. Maybe we will just dirt another one. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we can do. Just sketching and having some fun today. Can't all be winners. Got here. 
So maybe this one's a forest scene. We're in the forest. And um, at sunset, of course. Maybe we'll make a guy kind of coming through the mist here. We'll see how that goes. All right. Maybe we'll just block him in so we uh, got a little focal point. Is he going to be big? No, oh, small. Cool. And maybe he's got a wagon or something. He's pulling. Okay, we'll work on him later. Keep going on the background though. Make a little clearing back here for him. Sweet. All right. Let's get some of these trees going.
of fun because it's uh, just coming up ideas with for fun palettes, exploring moods. You know, it's really just like the impression of a place, more than figuring out a detailed rendering of it, but uh, can get you the, the essence of a space and make you feel something. See if it's something worth refining and doing a, a more elaborate piece based on it. So this is kind of like a thumbnail, I guess you would you would call it. This is how I like to sketch thumbnails before doing more methodical designs or thoughtful designs rather. This is kind of stream of consciousness painting. Painting what's fun at the time, after each stroke, reassessing the piece and seeing what you want to do with it. Um, yeah. So that's kind of what we're doing. Just playing with this uh, lighting environment, or this uh, lighting scenario, rather. Making something interesting and fun. Fun to have a little yellow tree back there. It's peeking out.
blue in the shadows. Nice. Cool. About done with this one. It's feeling kind of nice as a little, little sketch. Welcome old light hits. Get more of that gold in the background color. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. this one down. No. <laughs> Couple holes in this tree. I'll dupe everything. Let's do the last couple checks. Play with some levels, a couple adjustments. See if we can't bring this bring this home. Okay, I like that, but I don't like it everywhere. So we'll uh, invert that mask and then paint white where we want it. And let's just see how it's working up here. Might be too much. Yeah, just a little much. But I do like it. Um, let's try this. We'll do another one. Invert that. Let's get a little more darkness in the underside of that tree. Cool. And then, actually, I'll do the reverse. I'm going to punch it up. 
invert that and paint that back where I want it, which is under here and up here a little bit. Get that hot. Actually, all this hotness is fine. All right. Let's see about grabbing that and getting a hard light brush, grabbing some of that orange and just bringing this back a little bit more. It's a little saturated, so we're going to desaturate that in just a second. But I'm liking it. A little bloom here. Cool. So I'm going to do a... Oh! Ah! Oh man, this is on a layer, isn't it? Oh, okay, that's okay. We'll just turn it down. It's fine. Cool. Alright. And a little color dodge on the grass here and our friends. Hey, Moxie Socks, thanks. Someone likes the colors. <laughs> Thank you. So we're just about done with this one. I'll we'll probably take a little break. Yeah. Got a couple stronger hits up back here. There we go. That's fine. Doesn't need to be perfect. This is this is just a little sketch. So but I think that is good folks. Yeah. Yeah, let's call it on that one. Nice. Sketch number two. There we go. Awesome. Alrighty. Well, sweet. We got uh, we got two sketches done in about an hour, um, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy how they turned out. A little inspiration from Bob Ross today, um, as far as color map palette and mood and stuff. But we were kind of running with it, and uh, came up with these guys. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to take a quick break, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah, and definitely uh, check out metavisuals.live if you want to see uh, uh, when the next live stream will be. And um, I'll post these images on the post here so you can you can check them out, as, long, uh, as well as the YouTube link. So, um, yeah.